this election, as horrendous as it is, is just another manifestation of samsara. I have to say, there isn't anything quite that dramatically horrific going on in European states. But America's karma, like Malcolm X said, the chickens are come home to roost. The damage and destruction that that country has done to the world is coming back to it. So therefore, take karma seriously. Look at it as a lesson. Now, you can't hide your head in the sand and pretend these things aren't happening. As many toxic positivist new age types will take everything as being positive or it's a good lesson. That's not what I'm saying. But look at what's happening in the world as a wake-up call for you. Start taking your spiritual life seriously and start understanding we're not going to be here for long one way or the other. Whether you live a long, healthy life or you die tomorrow, this little brief flickering candle of an existence is very uncertain as all spiritual traditions have always taught. What is eternal is your mind. All outer forms of government, of economy, of even your physical body are temporary. They are very fragile. They are not anything to be relied on. Instead of counting on the outer world, the material world, you better start taking the spiritual world and your inner world seriously. This is the perfect time. Devote yourself to meditation. Devote yourself to purifying your negative karma and coming to terms with death. Because death is very near to us now. So you better start figuring out who you are and what you are. So get in touch with your mind through meditation, through spiritual practice. Don't be a dilettante anymore. Find a spiritual tradition that speaks to you and practice it diligently. I mean, mine is Tantric Buddhism and the worship of Set. That is my direction. But whatever direction you find, practice it diligently and renounce this world. If you can't see now that there's nothing reliable about the physical phenomena of the material world, what more do you need to see it? You know, it's all literally going up in flames. The very fabric of our society is crumbling in the face of all of these crises. And it's a spiritual phenomenon. Nothing that occurs in this world doesn't have its root in the spiritual world. That's the main thing I can say. Look deep within you. Don't think the outer world's gonna provide you with happiness or satisfaction. It cannot. It never did. It never will. The only answer lays within in spiritual practice.